Hello, my witchlets. Tonight I am going to make some gorgonzola burgers because the video on Thursday where we made the chicky nuggies kind of inspired tonight's meal. Um, so what I have going on here is a pound of grass-fed ground beef. It's 96.4 because that was actually on sale and very inexpensive at my particular grocery store. Um, and I'm going to add the gorgonzola, an egg as a binder, salt, pepper, and some ground savory, just because I like adding spices to it. So basically, blue cheese is one of my favorite things. However, blue cheese is not gluten-free. The bacteria in blue cheese to make it blue is structurally the same as gluten and the body does not recognize it as not gluten so um, it will trigger a reaction in people who are sensitive be they celiac or non-celiac gluten sensitive whatever um, so blue cheese has been off my menu for a while and it makes me very sad because like I said it is one of my favorites but instead we have gorgonzola cheese, which is a type of blue cheese, um, but the culture used in it um, does not have the, the same protein structure as general blue cheese. So I'm going to add some of this to my beef. I'm just going to measure it with my heart as I do garlic. So we got that going on. Um, I'm going to add my salt and pepper. Don't need a lot of salt because the cheese has a, enough salt <laughs> in it. Um, add my black pepper. And I'm going to add my ground savory. And finally, my egg. And now we know what part comes next, because I'm not wearing my rings, which means Chrissy gets to get stuff under her fingernails. But you want to mix this all around. Oh, this is so gross. You want to mix this all around and uh, get everything. You've never stepped in a cow pie. Yes, I have. I used to work on a dairy farm. Really? In college. Mm. I went to college in Wisconsin. Yes, I worked on a dairy farm. Uh, moo, moo, moo. It's a glorious feeling. Yeah, you know what else is a glorious feeling? Having a baby cow snot all over you. That's a glorious feeling. I think baby cows are cute for the record, except when they snot all over you. Then it's not so cute. All right. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're going to divide this into four patties, four balls basically, and um, I'm gonna reframe everything, come back and show you how to cook them. So I'll be right back in just a few moments. All right, we're back and we have our oven set to medium high. Excuse me, the range, not the oven, the range is set to medium high. And I have my more medium. Okay, well, medium. I can't see it, and I had to have my cameraman turn it on because my hands are, you know, goopy. So, uh, medium. And I'm going to put the patties in here that I have formed with my own two hands since they're already covered in stuff, and I have stuff under my nails, and I'm not happy. Um, so we're going to get these in here. And we're going to leave them alone completely, not going to touch them, not going to flatten them, not going to do anything with them for five minutes. After five minutes, then we will flip them and do the same thing on the other side for five minutes. Total cook time is 10 minutes. Once they're done, then we will uh, serve them. And so I will be back after, 
after they're finished. All right, we're back and everything seems to be cooked through, which is good. So I want to take a moment to talk about these lovely buns. These are my gluten-free sourdough buns. I made it with the sourdough starter that we went over on Tuesday. And if you haven't seen that video, um, I'll make sure that it's linked so that you can see that video. Uh, it's, it's a five or six day compilation of me pretty much just yelling at flour and water to bloom. It's kind of funny. Anyway, long story longer, uh, these are the gluten-free uh, sourdough hamburger buns that I made. And uh, they take about eight hours to prove. So this is something that you have to really plan out in advance, as I found out yesterday. So two hours before dinner. Yeah, two hours before dinner, I found out that I needed to prove them for eight hours. So we had something else for dinner. But um, they they as you can see, when you cut them, they don't drop a lot of crumbs. It's it's fairly soft and uh, such in the middle. I had one this morning for breakfast and it was one of the best gluten-free hamburger buns I have ever actually had. Um, so I was very happy with myself for that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, build a burger for you in my own style and way. So I'm going to start with a piece of lettuce because lettuce is good for you. And uh, I'm gonna have some extra cheese on mine because I like it cheesy. Okay, so here's the lovely Gorgonzola burger. We're gonna put some cheese on top of it. And I'm going to add some sauce. We've got our torchbearer sauces again because they're delicious. So I'm gonna do four drops of the Carolina Reaper garlic sauce. Or, you know, five drops, whatever. Stop laughing at me, cameraman. Nope. We're gonna put some honey mustard on there as well. Because since we're doing the, well, it doesn't really matter that I'm doing pre-Columbian since I just used, you know, Carolina Reaper hot sauce or a uh, garlic sauce, but uh, I am trying to do as pre-Columbian as I can so as not to really kill my immune system. But hey. Precision work? Precision work. I, I don't actually have very good precision. So we're just gonna go ahead and spread this on our bun. And uh, Top that off just like that. And that looks like a tasty, tasty meal. I'm not going to eat on camera though because uh, my jaw cracks a lot and it's been trying to dislocate all day today and I don't want to put you through that nor myself. So uh, hopefully you liked what you saw today. Uh, if you did, go ahead and hit the, th hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the thumb down, thumbs down button and also leave me a comment. Tell me where I can improve because I know I've got a lot of places to improve. Uh, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and that you ring the notification bell so that you can be alerted to when new videos come up, uh, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I sneak other ones in there. And uh, make sure to head over to my Patreon and uh, check, check out what's going on over there and see if anything interests you. So thank you guys for tuning in and we will see you next time.